r slash ask reddit what are the things every man should at least try even though they are stigmatized as gay or unmanly moisturizing take care of your skin boys i second this skin care is a must especially for people working outside all day a good moisturizer in the morning which has a decent spf rating will not only protect you against uv damage it'll make you silky smooth in the morning if my face is a little puffy i'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches i can do a thousand now after i remove the ice pack i use a deep pore cleanser lotion in the shower i use a water activated gel cleanser then a honey almond body scrub and on the face an exfoliating gel scrub then apply an herb mint facial mask which i leave on for 10 minutes while i prepare the rest of my routine I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol, because alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. Then moisturizer, then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. Telling your male friends you love them. Just at the end of high school my group had several deaths occur. Car accident, cancer, suicide and a couple murders. Now in my current group we say love you after most conversation. Some people think it weird but duck em. People aren't around forever. Better to let them know how you feel while you can. Similar story. Grew up in a tough area. Very little affection until we had a bad year when several people in our circle had died. After that, everything changed. I moved away so I don't see those guys very much. But whenever we talk, they always say love you at the end of conversations. Still feels a little weird. But it's a nice sentiment since an untimely demise became real very suddenly. Mental health can be unaddressed for a large portion of a man's life. Love is an element of staying healthy. It is possible that we may not need as much affection. Or that we can go longer without it. A good analogy is that someone with extremely high pain tolerance may be suffering from a very serious injury. For a long time. Before they recognize the problem. I'm all in on the B-Day. Bought it for my parents as kind of a prank gift and my dad wouldn't let my mom keep it. I don't want water shooting up my ass. I kept it and wouldn't go back. Way cleaner. Surprisingly refreshing. And I was the one laughing when nobody could find toilet paper in the stores. A roll lasts me forever now. Spent a couple of weeks in Japan last year. Where B-Days are nearly universal. First day there, when I got to my hotel room I had to use the Google Translate app to figure out how to work a toilet. By the third day, I couldn't imagine going back to paper. When I got home, I installed one at my house, and yep, when the pandemic struck, toilet paper was not on my list of things to worry about. I had a stop in Korea for a flight, used one once, got home and bought one immediately. Also can't imagine going back and was glad to not have to worry about running out of TP. If I remember correctly, social workers are mostly female, but young boys need good male role models too, and there should be a demand for male social workers since there are so few of them. So, being a social worker, we also need to pay social workers a lot more. This one hits so darn close to home. My dad was born in the 1940s and fell into most of the stereotypes of that time. He was austere, stoic, and rarely told me how proud of me he was or how much he loved me. I mean, I knew he did. I just wished I heard it more. I swore that when I had kids I would do it differently. I hug and kiss both of my boys every day. I snuggle with them. When they go to bed, I make sure the last thing they hear is me and my wife telling them we love them. In my opinion, there is nothing more manly. My dad had a pretty bad upbringing. His dad was an alcoholic World War II veteran who piloted a tank through Germany. So, since I don't think he ever had the precedent set for him, he carried on never telling me that he loves me. But I'm okay with that, because I know that he does. He has always been so sincere to me, looked out for my best interests, and let me have all the freedom I wanted. He doesn't need to tell me that he loves me, because his actions have never stopped speaking so much louder than those words could ever mean. Don't not try something because you're afraid of seeming unmanly. Worrying about how manly you appear to the world is actually the least manly thing you can do. One would be the manliest man if he did whatever he wanted no matter what society tells him. Skincare. I don't understand why is so gendered. 
Why ads focus on you can put this black navy skincare product and still be manly. Its skin is an important human organ. And actually not that different in needs from man woman. Everyone needs to wash your face properly in to protect it from dehydration and sun damage. The marketing for men's skincare is so cringe worthy it's just unreal. Instead of just here is moisturizer. You need to use this to not have shitty skin problems it's always ultra face shield to the duckine maximum or pro super power glide razor blades for shaving your manly face. I just want a cleanser I'm not looking to invade a country. Getting a massage. My so never had one and I convinced him to get one. He felt so relieved. Why would that be stigmatized? I used to go regularly. They meant getting a massage from a man. Costanza style. Going to the spa. Dong or no dong. We all deserve to be pampered every once in a while. Treat yourself. Thinking. Talking about and understanding your emotions. Man. That's deep. I was just going to say butt play. That can be deep too. Oh yeah make me emotional. Cockatails. They're delicious. And I've found some of the tastiest come in the daintiest glasses and have the effeminate flirty names. Pink passion. Sweet seacrest blue. Sex on the beach. Etc. That aren't the manliest to say order. Went on a work night over Christmas I work in a factory and got endless shit about ordering gin and tonics and espresso martinis. Literally could not give one solitary shit. They taste great. Gin and tonics are considered unmanly? Extravagant pink ones are. Quality hugs for your brothers. Don't do the old shoulders touch and pat on the back. Grab your friend and give them a hug. If you squeeze hard enough, you can pop their back. That's a relief like no other. Now my hente old account has a ton of messages. Unfappable. A little bit more and you can hear their bro's spine craking and them yelling at you to actually stop. Guys should definitely try yoga. At the very least. It's a form of exercise that builds balance. Flexibility and strength in each and every pose. Is low impact enough to be done until old age. But is challenging enough to build muscle. Plus if you go into the other aspects of yoga. Including meditation, breathing, concentration, etc. Life feels better and lighter. I used to have a personal trainer who championed yoga. I would regularly scoff at the usefulness of yoga as a real workout. Then one fine day, he took me through a solid hour of yoga. I was thoroughly whipped and wringing wet. Brian, yoga is a great workout. Keeping a diary, you'll become more reflective and more productive as a result. It's not gay if you call it a journal. It's not a purse. It's a satchel. Indiana Jones has won. Anything? Real men don't give a shit that other people think they're being unmanly. I'll confidently order a Cosmo at the bar in my purple shirt because it's a good drink and purple is my favorite color. This is the correct answer. And honestly it took way too ducking long to be said. Years ago, my wife's best friend sister became the manager of a bar in my town. She invited my wife to come in one weekend night with the enticement that all drinks would be on the house. She included me in the invite, but mostly to be polite. She didn't really know me, and she didn't think I'd come. Because it was a gay bar. All I heard was free drinks. I will say this. The clientele of that establishment was the most chill bunch of bra flies I've ever seen in my life. I had a few dudes try to flirt. And the moment they found out I was straight and there with my wife they were not only 100% respectful. They were all over themselves telling me how much I was to be admired. Apparently a straight guy being comfortable drinking in a gay bar is something of a unicorn. If I'd actually drank all the drinks sent to our table I'd have been in the air that night. Weirdly enough, the men's room of that place was cleaner than most hospital bathrooms I've seen. Crying. Just let it out. Guys, you can do it. Don't apologize for it or hide it either. You say that I can do it, but I just literally can't. I recently lost a close friend, and I felt the need to, but the most I could get out was a few tears. I know it would feel good though. Wearing a mask. Apparently. At least here in Texas. North Carolina. 2. I'm the only one at work right now wearing one. One of the bosses will wear one if he's trying to impress a client who is wearing one. He did that one day and left it on too long. One of his friends came in and said, What? You scared? Like they were kids on a playground. And he responded like a kid on a playground. 
Nah, I ain't scared. And ripped it off. My other boss told us right after we reopened that bros don't social distance. I really hate it there. Washing your ass. Do people just not clean themselves? There's a difference between not wanting a coke up your ass and wanting to be clean. A pretty big one mayo. Proper dancing lessons. Read books, or even poetry. Discuss their thoughts and feelings openly. Cry. I wouldn't say reading books is considered unmanly. When I became a man I put away childish things. Including the childishness and the desire to be very grown up. C.S. Lewis. When I became a man I put away childish things. Including the fear of childishness and the desire to be very grown up. Use moisturizer. At 31. I look better and younger than I did at 21. I mean I started regularly working out. Drinking tons more water. And eating properly at 23 stroke 24. As well as stopped drinking booze 2 years ago. So those helped too. But moisturizing definitely helps. Over the age of 30 or so, having friends and doing things with them. Most people I know, if they have friends at all, they're either work buddies, or family get togethers. But a couple of guys being friends and leaving the wives to go on a camping trip, etc. Just seems weird. I miss having friends. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.